So welcome to this second part um, about this question uh, involving similar figures and the volume of cones. And but before I start, and again, I want to uh, tell you that one of you asked me this question on my site, explainingmaths.com. And on that site, you'll find all the math uh, topics explained yeah, for free. So please have a look at it. And you can also ask me your questions if you have any, and I will try to help you too. Okay, so we solved it in part one already. Uh, very quickly to tell you what did we do. So there's an inverted cone. The height is 15 centimeters and the diameter is 4. Yeah, so the radius is 2 centimeters. And it's filled with water um, until the uh, the water reaches a height of 7 centimeters. Let me put that there. I forgot that. Yeah, so the height of the water is 7 centimeters. And the question is, what is the volume of the water? All right. And now what did I do in the previous video? I said, well, I'm going to find out what the volume of the big cone is, yeah, because these are similar cones. Yeah, The big cone is similar to the smaller cone. So if I find out the volume of the big cone, and I multiply that by the scale factor, 7 over 15, yeah, two corresponding sides. So again, the volume of the big cone multiplied by the scale factor to the power 3, because we're talking about volume. Then I found the answer, and the answer to three significant figures, let me just write it down here, was 6.39 centimeters cubed. All right. So, um, but then again, I promise you to use a different method now. So what am I going to do? I'm going to find the radius of the water. Okay, so what is the radius? And again, I'm going to use similarity for that. Okay, so the scale factor is 7 over 15 yeah and if i multiply that by 2 which is the radius of yeah the bigger cone um then the radius of the smaller cone is 14 over 15 centimeters okay so what is the volume of the water now well the volume of the water is pi r squared times the height divided by 3 and again that is a full um um, a formula usually given to you in a question, okay? The volume of a cone. However, it's good to know that if you have a cylinder, yeah, with the same base, so this is the cylinder around it, yeah? So that circle, that base is the same, then the cone fits in exactly three times, okay? So you can try it one time with rice. I always do it in my class. I have a cylinder and a cone. The cone will fit in three times in the cylinder. Pi r squared times the height is the volume of a cylinder. Divided by 3 to get a cone. Anyway, some background information there. Back to this problem. So pi times the radius, which is 14 over 15 squared, times the height. We're talking about the water, so 7 over 3. Now, I plug it all in my calculator and I get 6.38557795. Five, seven. And as you can see, indeed, that's going to give me the same answer to three significant figures. Okay, so why did I not do it by the scale factor cube now? Because to find that radius, we're talking about lengths. Yeah, so I just multiply two by the scale factor. If you're talking about area and similarity, then you have to do it by the scale factor squared. If we're talking about volume and similarity, you have to do it by the scale factor to the power of three. All right, I explain all of that in more detail in my videos about similarity. So please, if you have problems with that, check my site, explainingmaths.com. It's all there for you. Uh, I'm just trying to help you, okay? So just have a look. Look at my videos and you'll understand maths a little bit better. I wish you a very pleasant evening and um, I'll see you later.